YouTube, YouTube, what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, RC's Finest, back at you with another vid, YouTube. Uh, thanks to the subscribers that's been subscribing, thanks to the previous subscribers that already have subscribed. Once again, y'all, thank you for all the comments, thank you for all the positive feedback, the thumbs up, the thumbs down, it's all appreciated. Thanks to my lovely wife for allowing me to do what I love to do. Um, just back out with another vid, YouTube, not going to be too long. Um, another one that's new to the channel as well. As I told you, I always bring y'all new stuff to the channel. This here is a Traxxas Summit 110 scale, which looks like pretty much a 1.8 scale without the wheels and everything. These trucks are really big. Um, this is a rock crawler truck. I uh, kind of custom did some things to it, make it my own. As you can see, the highlight of the truck is the big Jumbo Kong wheels I put on. Uh, yeah, very huge. Huge wheels. Huge wheels compared to the stock one. Um, very hard to find. I was luckily and fortunate to find a pair that was brand new. I had been looking for these for a long time. I had bought a pair. And the guy told me they were 17 millimeter hex, and when I got them, they weren't 17 millimeters, so I had to send them back. And then I was on a waiting list for another pair to come up. So I got these pretty much brand new, brand new tires, no cracks, no nothing, brand new. Everything's brand new. And like I said, I was fortunate to get them because uh, they don't really, they sell them, but you, they're really hard to get, and they're very expensive. A um, couple videos out on this years, years, years ago. Uh, I think his name is Geo Stealth R1 and RC Medic had done a vid on these, put them on their truck, and uh, I decided I'd bring it back out, 2022-2023 uh, 20, style. So here is the stock wheel that came with it. I'll put those up for comparison so you guys can see. That is the stock wheel. Uh, big difference in height and in the width. Big difference, as you can see there. Um, I like the purple truck. Uh, found a guy selling it. Never really used it. Used it about two times and then didn't want it anymore. So I said, well, work me out a deal. Work out a deal as I usually do. And uh, worked out a deal with it and picked this up. I had this for like, I don't know, maybe it's going on like two years, this truck. You know, I just never done nothing with it because I was just waiting for the right parts to come in and stuff to do with it. But yeah, I think it looks pretty sweet with the Jumbo Kong wheels on it. Nice look. Um, tested it already. I thought it would be really top heavy, but it's not really top heavy because the wheels are so wide. So it keeps that thing from rolling over. Unless you hit in the corner, you know, at full speed, yeah, it's going to roll over. Any truck's going to roll over, but I thought this would be more top heavy than it was, and it wasn't because of the wideness of the wheels. And I'll give you a look from the back and you can see how wide these wheels are. I mean, really wide, really wide. So yeah, y'all, Tracks of Summit, done RC's finest way. I'm gonna show y'all what I did to the inside. You know I don't ever leave nothing alone, leave it stuck. But the outside, I kind of just left like it was. I just put the big wheels on it. Um, I was going to uh, extend it out, but I said, no, nah, let, me, let me not extend this one out. Let me just leave this one regular and throw the wheels on it and go from there. So once again, y'all, this is the purple. Uh, brand new. Everything's brand new. Purple body, which is, I really like. I really like the purple. Really nice. Uh, like I say, brand new everything. Brand new body. Um, so what we're going to do... Is we're gonna pop the top and give y'all a look and yeah I'm running this off the uh, the uh, stock tracks radio TQI radio works great for this with all the diff lockers and all that stuff in it and all that it all works so I just left it on that same remote so I didn't have to mess with anything so what I did do to this y'all is you can see the uh, GPM arms I put the GPM arms in there in blue I left the stock drive shafts because I got a word from a lot of people. Once you start changing up the drive shafts, they start popping out. So a lot of people said just leave it with the stock drive shafts. Very easy maintenance, easy to fix if, they, uh, if you have a problem. 
because with racing a truck like this, this high and using those uh, big wheels, the drive shaft was popping out on some of the ap aftermarket drive shafts. So I kept the stock ones in there. As y'all can see, GPM arms. And that's all I did to this on the uh, outside wheels and arms. Let me pop the top. Kind of show y'all what I did to it. As you see, a little bit different than your normal. Than your normal. Um, once again, y'all, uh, went through it. So let me start up towards the front. So what I did is I put the uh, aluminum rockers up front and in the back. All the way around. Uh, stiffened up the shock oil in the shock. Put 70 weight in front and rear. And then turned the springs down a little bit. So we give you a little bit more dampening. Um, what I did is I left the stock servo. Stock servos, believe it or not, are running fine with these big wheels. No issues, no problems turning or anything. A little sluggish, but it's okay. It's a, it's a monster truck. You're not trying to turn real fast and do all that. I mean, it's a crawler truck, monster truck, and that's what I made it out of, as of. Um, so what I did to the transmission is I put you can't see it because I got the aluminum cover over it I put mod one gears in there uh, lowered the spur down put a bigger pinion uh, I can't remember what size spur gear I put in there I think it might have been a 54 or 50 something 52 or 50 something um, hot racing I think it was and I put a bigger spur in there I mean a pinion in there excuse me uh, I think I put a 21 in there Okay. I'm running the Spectrum Firma 150 amp ESC with uh, my high speed fan on top. Okay. Uh, orange and purple wire loom. Go to this side. My NHX high speed fans on the motor. I'm running a 4076 motor in here. And I measured it just right because you can see where the can ends. Just enough room. 4076 is the biggest you could put in there unless you want to do some special mods. And I wasn't trying to do all that. Uh, put the uh, uh, rear brace in there. Traxxas rear brace. Um, aluminum um, shock mounts. As you see right there. Front and rear. What you can't see under the bottom, I put an aluminum um, <clears throat> steering mechanism in here. You can barely see it right in there. Let me tap this. You can barely see it right in there. Silver aluminum uh, steering rack in there. Okay. So that's pretty much all I did to this show, was just hopped it up with some bigger tires, put a few aluminum parts under there. I'm going to fl flip the bottom and show you what I did to the bottom and um, run something by y'all. Y'all might have already heard and some of you haven't heard that uh, T-Bone Racing is no longer in business no more. And you know from watching my builds, I use a lot of T-Bone Racing parts. They're willy bars, they're skid plates. Their uh, uh, front and rear bumper. So I am sad. I am sad. I don't know about all you. I'm sad to see him go. Um, I don't know what happened. I got an email so they would be no longer in business. Pick up all the parts you can while they're on sale. And uh, sorry to see them go because I use a lot of their parts as y'all see. I use a lot of willy bars, a lot of skid plates. Just a lot of different stuff they had was just on point. They have ramps. They had everything. So T-Bone Racing is no longer in business. If y'all haven't heard, um, sorry to see them go because uh, I was a big supporter of their parts. I like their parts. I never had an issue with none of their parts. And if I did, I would just call them back and they would just make it right. They never, they never gave me a hassle for anything. So sorry to see them go. Uh, once again, this right here is for my external battery for the fans. That's what that is hanging out of there. Um, just left this, didn't do a cat pack and all that receiver pack because this isn't going to be something for like high speed or anything. So I just have the regular cat pack that's on the, uh, the Spectrum Firma ESC. Um, NTG, uh, motor, uh, gear cover I put on it. 
Okay, and like a gray silver, kind of match everything else. Um, that's pretty much all I did to this, y'all. Just hopped it up with the bigger tires and the, the few parts that I showed you. I didn't want to really make this a bunch of, adding a bunch of parts to it and everything because I wanted to leave it the way it is because I wanted it for its own purpose and its purpose is to be a big monster truck, to crawl up stuff and just be a big monster truck, big showpiece. That's kind of what it is. And that's why I just did the few upgrades that I did. Um, same chassis as the E-Revo 2.0. I looked at my Revo 2.0, which I haven't showed you guys yet on the channel, which will be coming along with the, the gang of other cars and boats and stuff I have, like I told you. I just don't have time to go to the stores and get all that stuff out. But yeah, y'all, this is what we did to it. This is the um, Traxxas Summit. Hopped up RC Finest Way with the big Jumbo Kong wheels on it. And let me flip up the bottom and I'll show you the skid plate I put on it. To protect a little bit of the uh, bottom. Let's see. All right. So that's the T-Bone Racing skid plate I put on it. Protect a little bit of the bo uh, the bottom. And like I say once again, sorry to see T-Bone Racing out of business. Um, I don't know the the details and all that, but I just know they're no longer in business. If you go to their website, they have nothing on their website anymore. Sorry to see them guys go. All right, y'all. That's about it on this one. Um, like I say, y'all, this is the Traxxas Summit. Um, done a little bit different. RC's finest way. 6S, 6S system in there. Yeah, thought it came out nice. Looks really sweet with the raised up and with the big jumbo Kongs on there. Yeah. Came out nice. Drives really nice too. Drives really nice. Didn't think it would drive that good, but it drives really nice. I like it. I like it. Alright, yeah, we 13 minutes in. I showed y'all the truck, gave y'all a little bit of info on T-Bone. Thanks for the subscribers that's been subscribing. Thanks for all the thumbs up. Thanks for the support from everyone. Every one of y'all. Um, just happy to be doing what I'm doing, y'all. I like to do these builds. I like to show y'all different stuff. You know, and that's what we do. You keep watching, I keep building. That's, that's how we're going to do it. Tracks the summit, y'all. RC Spinus Way. Jumbo Kong wheels. Looking sweet. Alright, y'all. Thanks for tuning in to all the vids. Thanks for your support. RC Spinus. And we out. Peace.